and I'm going to share with you um, this little pool robot that I think is actually a, a, supposed to be a good piece of equipment. So let's take it apart and look at it together. Okay, so this is the Nautilus CC Plus made by Dolphin, Dolphin Products. Um, these products are actually assembled, some of them are assembled in the United States, but um, most of them are made in Israel. Um, and they make a pretty good product. They got really good reviews on that. Um, so let's take it apart, see what we got. I always like to preserve the box just in case I need to return it or bring it back. In this case here, you can get it online, but I got mine on Amazon. Um, it's actually a slight bit, it's about $10 less than buying in other places. So opening the box, looks like we have the, uh, the manual, the barcode and such. So we're gonna read through that. I'm gonna put that aside. We have the, uh, the main cable here. What's cool about this particular unit, and I think is very important for a pool robot, is that it has a, um, a tangle-free cord. So these here, these are actual, actual floats, but this whole assembly between these two floats and this connector right here, the waterproof connector, allows it to, to turn in unison so that it, they call it a tangle-free cord. And that's really important because when it's traveling around the pool, buzzing around, the, the cable definitely can get uh, tangled up. Uh, my last unit had that, but uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's the, uh, the control box, the control unit, or what they call the power supply. Um, looks like it's in good shape. I usually inspect this stuff too to make sure that it looks pretty good, that it wasn't damaged or cracked or possibly used or whatever. Typically, typically you'll see these little plastic things, these little pins to show you that it hasn't been used. And it looks like it's in good shape. A lot of times it'll have a film over the top of it that you'll peel off, which is good. Um, this here gives you all the electronic information on the back. Looks like it's in good shape. It's very well packaged. You know, they use some really good protective cardboard to protect the unit. It's covered by plastic, which is always a nice thing. So we'll carefully grab the handle, pull this out of the box. And I'd say it's pretty light. It's fairly light. I would probably say it's somewhere in the 30 to 40 pound range. Uh, but it feels, it feels very light. Put that down here. I do turn it over. I like to put it on a piece of plastic or cardboard or even a, to a towel later on. And then I'm going to save the box. I'm going to put everything back, all the, all the pieces. I'm going to fold the box back up and save that in case something happens with it. So there it is. There's the Nautilus CC Plus pool vacuum. Brand new out of the packaging. Again, we have the flotation modules here. This will keep the cable floating up at the top. And this is a tangle-free connector, so it'll allow it to twist and turn without getting tangled up. Underneath, let's take a look underneath the unit here. Looks like we have a couple of these soft rubber brush wheels, which is great because it'll allow it to, um, actually, it's, it serves two purposes. One is to move it, make it mobile on the pool itself, um, but it also helps climb up the sides of the pool. But these are like little brushes here. And this stuff cleans the gunk off of the, of the pool, it sort of turns. Then it has these tracks here, which again, help it to climb and move on the pool. These are the intakes right here. All the dirt and gunk is gonna suction in right here, like so. And these are like mini jets, they'll be squirting out water and stuff. But this is the bottom of the unit here. Actually, one thing to note too, is that when you're looking at these, when you're inspecting them, make sure to take a look at the sides too. You know, make sure you don't have any of these things broken off, these little rubber pieces. I would guess over time that these are, these are kind of weak. I'd imagine over time that this might actually break off some of these eventually, but I'll bet you that these parts are replaceable. So we'll have to take a look at that. Um, there was plastic on the edges of this. Make sure to take the plastic pieces off of all four corners before you get started. Um, something to note too, this stuff here, this, this foam here, is actually, it feels kind of hard right now, but once it gets wet, this actually acts as another wheel. It's gonna get really soft and puffy and kind of help climb the walls of the pool. Now here's a little tip that I think you, you might find a little ridiculous, but I like to do this, is I'll take some speed wax, which you'll use in a car or a boat or whatever, and I will coat this and wax this it's almost as though it's taking care of a car um, you know just spray a little on there take a cloth wipe it off 
and then turn the cloth over. And what that does actually protects the unit because I mean, it's gonna be going in and out of water quite a bit. And it'll actually preserve this longer, you know, taking care of this equipment so that it lasts longer, especially when it's a good piece of equipment like this. It just helps because the water will bead off of it, the dirt will bead off of it. Um, and it'll just make it look nicer and act act more behaved. It'll, it'll do a better job for you, I think, and last you a lot longer. Cool little detail to the Nautilus CC Plus by Dolphin are little little teeny details I've noticed, which I kind of like, is this like this little corner corner piece here. These actually will go against the edges of your pool very tightly and actually help kind of scrub the edges of your pool. Because if you look down at the bottom edges of any pool, it's very hard to keep those edges clean. In fact, my last robot did not do a very good job at cleaning the edges. So this will stir that stuff up and help it get into the, uh, the collection chamber here. What I love about this one, the Nautilus CC Plus by Dolphin, and a lot of the modern units have these, but they actually have these hatches up here, which come apart like this, here on this side, and then same with the other side. They just click, click. And the cleaning, uh, the filter modules, they literally just pull right out here. and. As you can see, it's gonna have plenty of room to put leaves and sediment inside of it to clean out. So they're very, very easy to pull in and out as I'm trying it here for the first time, actually. Literally, they just roll right into place. Very, very smooth. This one here might be a little trickier to get out. But yeah, it's the same idea. They slip out and then these shut here. Um, this here is the, the fan motor, which actually brings in and out water. That's going to go in and out. Um, but let's take a look at the manual and see what it has to say next. The state of the pool before using the pool robot is it's not too bad. I mean, I definitely have some, some leaves and gunk at the bottom, some dead worms. I've already treated the pool with some of the chemicals to get it started. A lot, a lot of loose dirt on the bottom. So before we put, put her in to try her out, I just wanted to show you what's, what's in the pool already. So I'd say it's light to moderate sediment. Power supply typically will plug into a GFCI outlet, an outdoor outlet here, which I have here. So we'll plug the power supply in, lay that down. You try not to do it in the sun if you can help it. Um, and I usually put that sort of in a shady spot here, and then we'll connect the cable to the robot and put that in the pool. Okay, so next we're gonna put her in the pool. Everything checks out, all the plastics off of it or whatever. We're just going to basically put her right in the pool, like so. And she's going to eventually sink to the bottom. There she goes. We're going to let her sink down. All right, she's down at the bottom of the pool. So we're pretty much ready to go. She's sitting there ready for startup. So we're gonna set up the power supply, probably about, I don't know, I'd say that's about eight feet or so from the power source. We're gonna take this 18 meter line here. We're gonna plug that into the power supply first. Right here. Just do this. I'm gonna plug this in. Screw it on for a tight fit. It actually makes a watertight seal this towards us so we can see it so we can plug it in you can see the uh, panel so now even though it has a kink free adapter here we still want to avoid kinking the hose okay we're gonna make sure to spread this wire out Just lay it in the pool gently. There we go. Next, we gotta plug it in. Good. That's it. So all we have to do now is press the power on. Get your flashing lights ready. This is upside down. I guess we could turn this around too. There we go. There. This is where we can we can 
set the timer, but it automatically is going to go on for two hours. So we'll leave that there for now. And that's pretty much it. What's kind of cool about these is they, is they auto program themselves and they sort of acclimate themselves to where they need to be, where they need to go. You can see she's moving on her own. She's going up the walls. She comes, climbing right up the walls, no problem. a few leaves that fell in the pool overnight it actually did a really slick job did a really super job cleaning up pretty happy with it so far so good now again to clean it out we simply open these little doors up here they open up very nice pretty sturdy and you carefully remove these canisters they slip right out and uh, filled with gunk so we're gonna hose them off clean them up pop them in and we're good to go What's handy about these cleaning modules or canisters, or let's call them a filter, is that they actually clip real easy right here, right here, two small clips, comes right up, comes right out of it, which is awesome. It actually picked up a lot of leaves and a lot of the little sediment, um, making cleaning really easy. So we'll actually take this and throw it in the garbage and then hose these things off. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to use the sink. I can use warm water to clean them off. That's all the dirt out of them, but they clean up real, real nice, real, real simple. So then after the cartridges are clean, it's real easy to, to assemble. You click that into position, turn it over. They're all the same pieces, so they're easy to clearly replace these if you need to. But if you clean them, take care of them, they're gonna last you for years. So that's that, you pop that back into position here. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so that should show you how, how easy it is to, to operate. So you click them in, 
and then they pop back down into position. Oops, gotta make sure you put them in the right way. There, like that. And then we'll do the other one, we'll be good to go. And when you're done with it, make sure you store it in a nice, clean, dry, safe place. Like I put here in my shed. Even though it's meant to get wet, it's a good way to take care of this stuff so it lasts you for years to come. Mm -hmm.